Anybody else? I got one political question. I am chairman of the White County Republican Party. Yes, sir. And I was playing poker the other night with my regular members, and one of them brought a new guy in. He just moved up here from Atlanta uh, and retired. Very politically astute. So I tried to recruit him for the Republican Party. He said, I've been my uh, lifelong pro my, my adult life. And he says, uh, I'm now an independent. Right. And I said, well, what made you think? He says, well, Republicans can't get their act together. He says, uh, he, he referenced the controversy going on about the budget and shutdown. And also he referred to uh, our state convention in June and said, uh, you know, uh, the top constitutional officers uh, boycotted the convention and the Governor Kemp has got a pact that competes with the Republican Party for funds. What in your opinion is the state of uh, the Republican Party in Georgia? Or what would, what would you tell that guy? <laughs> well, since this is a bipartisan, nonpartisan group, you love everyone. Uh, I won't go too far out on that. Uh, what I would tell them is I, I understand our frustration. I assume you're frustrated like I am with Washington, D.C. They need the rotary test. But by and large, you know, I know I served in the House two terms, uh, four years. There's good people down there, and we make things happen because we have to balance the budget in 40 days. We got a clock. It starts on day one, and it's clicking along. And so we have to really work with each other on these important issues. And I know that the Senate and the House, they have good positioning, but at the end of the day, we work together. I think that's really important. And I think that what we really need to do is probably, you know, it's not living in the past, but the values, if you look at George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, the founding values are great values. It's really the values of small town America. In fact, if you really look at, say, World War II, I don't think it, if you were from Brooklyn, New York, or if you're from the coal fields of West Virginia, or you're some, from some you know, uh, field down in South Georgia, farming away, I think your values are probably pretty much the same. It's about character, integrity, you know, doing the right thing no matter what the cost was. And so I think when we lean back into that and we have you know, solid values and solid positive aspirational message that pulls people together and, and understand we don't all agree on the issues but we agree on 90 percent of them and so let's work on those things and we can't worry about the little things that really in there that they are important to us but if they're not important to the good senator over there i'm going to find out what is important to him and let's have a meeting of the minds so we can get things done for everyone and so i think we do that we'll do great but i would tell them uh, you've got some great state reps here you've got some great state senators you're really blessed in White County. And I just say that, I'm saying it honestly because I know who they are. I like them, all four of them. And it's not because they like me, it's just because they're solid legislators. We may disagree on a policy, but they're good people. I think your county commissioners, this gentleman here, he served 15 years for county commission. You know, like, he cares about his community. You know, that that is not politics, that is public service. So I always let it give him time to meet people in the community and he'll get a different perspective. He's going to see friendship, he's going to see fellowship, he's going to see the best of humankind. And so I, I'm very positive and hopeful that sometimes political parties go through these stormy seas, but it comes out the other side, and I think we'll do just fine. One other question. When, when we as election supervisors arrived at the Capitol, we pleaded with the senators and representatives to reconsider the runoffs because six weeks is not reasonable. I mean, I spend Thanksgiving in the office mm -hmm. if we have a December runoff. And we've been at a cutoff of 48 or 45 percent before. I'm just wondering, is, is that going to be looked at and would you support it? That is the general summary. Yes. We are in a litigious world today. Yeah. Yeah. Everything we do in there, we get scrutinized in a courtroom. Where's the judge? <laughs> there are laws, literally, as we speak, there are lawsuits pending on our redistricting from two years ago. Sure. 
Yeah. The minute we touch early voting, we're going to be sued again, will we not? Well, on the runoff pro process, and so these are the issues. Uh, the senator's right because actually, uh, the case. Uh, I don't know what the judge would know this. I'm an engineer, but uh, and that redistricting case, I guess uh, we presented our final documents and, and statements, and so did the other side. The judge is now considering that, and so uh, going back, when I talk to when I talk to people on the other side of the aisle, if I talk about you know 2020 election, they get that. But as soon as I start on with Stacey Abrams, they don't want to talk about that. But you know you have to understand when I took office, I thought we were getting we were working hard on new voting machines. I didn't know I was talking about getting nine lawsuits from Fair Fight, Fair Count, people for whatever, all those different nonprofits, bipartisan, nonpartisan organizations. And so it is very litigious. And so what we look at it is a fair, balanced, you know, balancing accessibility with security. That's why it's never been easier to, to be registered in uh, Georgia. In 2022, they came down up north, they came down these newspapers looking for all these unregistered voters. They couldn't find any because anyone that wanted to be registered could be registered. People that wanted to vote had plenty of opportunities. We are recognized as one of the top voter turnouts in the uh, turnout percentages in the entire southeast. But we have photo ID. We think that makes sense. It gives you confidence. But it is highly scrutinized. But we, well, the General Assembly understands the issue because that runoff really does burn up a lot of people's Thanksgiving Thanksgiving week. Uh, it is where we are. Uh, so it's just a tough, you know, they'll, they'll work through it, but uh, you got to give them some time. It, it should be reduced practically. Yes. Secretary, Mr. Secretary, Literally, oh. we have a program where we donate uh, children's book to the library. If you would sign it here, and we'll get it to the library. Uh, Anywhere? Oh, there you go. Yeah.